Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the partial derivative of this function with respect to x using the actual definition of partial derivatives, not just like uh, using formulas. We're going to do it with the limit definition. So let me show you what that definition is. So if you want del del x of our function f at x, y, this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of the following quantity. It'll be f of x plus h, just like the regular definition, but then we hold y constant, so minus f of x, y. So it's like we're using the one variable definition, right, f of x plus h minus f of x, and we're fixing y, we're treating y as a constant. If you think about it, when you do it like, you know, the regular way, just like by using the power rule in this case, we treat all of the y's as constants. So when you take the limit, it's like you're fixing y. Okay, let's carefully uh, work this out. So this is equal to the limit, I'm going to have to write a little bit small, as h approaches 0 of, let's see, 2x, let's work this out. So this one here means that we replace all of the x's with x plus h's and all the y's stay the same. So we'll have 2x plus h squared plus 3y squared, right, the y stays the same, minus 3x plus h. That one changes, right, and then the y stays the same, plus 7y plus 4. I'm writing kind of small. I didn't realize uh, how much room it would take. So basically, all I did was replace all the x's with x plus h, and you kept all of the y's the same. And then minus f of xy. That's the whole thing up here, so I'll just copy it down to x squared plus 3y squared minus 3x plus 7y plus 4. And all of this, this entire thing, is being divided by h. So again, it's just f of x plus h of y, f of x, sorry, f of x plus h comma y, f of f of, f of x, y. It's two variables, it's harder to say. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero. So we have two. Now this piece here, um, I have it memorized, but basically you square the first one, so you get x squared. Then you multiply these and double them, so x h times two, so 2xh, and then you square the last one, so h squared, and then plus 3y squared, gets really messy, minus 3x minus 3h, the yellow is making me see better actually, it's helping me, because I'm writing so small, you know, I have to, I'm looking at the screen too, so it's like, ooh, so minus 3x minus 3h, it's like it really sticks out, I like this color, plus 7y, it's the color of gold. <laughs> Here we just have to distribute the negative one, so it'll be negative 2x squared, negative 3y squared. Negative and negative is positive, so positive 3x, negative 7y, and then negative 4. Wow, just a ridiculous, uh, ridiculous mess. And I am sure some stuff will cancel, and this is all over h. So I'm going to come over here give our give ourselves some more room. Limit as h approaches 0. Let's go ahead and distribute this to, so it'll be 2x squared plus uh, 4xh, because 2 times 2 is 4, and then plus 2h squared again, so 2h squared plus 3y squared, then minus 3x, Oh, 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 does stuff cancel here? Yeah, let's let's think about that. Let me let me just, so we distributed, um, we distributed this. So now let's look at 3y squared. Look, uh, uh, goes away. Negative 3x, uh, uh, goes away. Negative 3h does not go away. 7y goes away. 4 goes away. We still have the minus 2x squared. And it's all divided by h. Now it goes away. So now we go to the next step, limit, as h approaches 0. It's really important to write the limit sign in every step. 
right? Because we're still, we haven't taken the limit yet. So you have to write it as you go through the computation. This is extremely messy, but it's, it's really not that hard. 4xh plus 2h squared, it just takes time, minus 3h, all divided by h. We're not quite there yet. So what we can do now is we can factor out an h in the numerator. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. Let's pull out an h. So here we have 4x plus 2h minus 3. That's all over h. Boom. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 4x plus 2h minus 3. And so now we've finally arrived at the point where we can actually replace h with 0. So when we do that, this is when we drop the limit signs. This is equal to 4x plus 2 times 0 minus 3. So we get 4x minus 3. I think we should definitely check our answer now using like regular calculus. So let me scroll back up and do it. So for computing del f del x, all the y's are constants. 2 times 2 is 4, so we get 4x. This will be 0, because it's a constant, right? y is constant. Minus 3. This will be 0, because it's a constant. This will be 0, because it's a constant. 4x minus 3, is that what we got before? Yay, we did it right. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.